This is number five of seven, and this is going over the sin of sloth. Um, that we sin in the sin of sloth when we made an idolatry of avoiding pain. Now, our real issue is not sloth. The real issue is a powerlessness wound. When we have a root wound, um, somebody wounds us and creates this woundedness through us making an inner vow and a judgment, um, we can then sin out of that wound to protect ourselves. We, of course, don't turn to God. We turn to ourself, make a false idol of something. For the sin of sloth, we would see the idolatry of avoidance of pain, not being able to understand the gift of suffering. And in that, uh, the inner vow, for instance, would be, uh, this is how a stronghold is made. I feel overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. I can't do it. It's too big. It's too hard. It's too much. I'm trapped. I feel trapped. I don't understand what's happening to me. Um, I can't change anything. I don't know where to even begin. This overwhelming sensations. And the inner vow would be, I cannot change anything. So you would say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who came in the flesh, I renounce the lie that I cannot change anything. Because we know we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Um, it can manifest as a distress symptom as excessive fatigue and lack of discipline or just an overall confusion and inability to really cope or relate with what's going on around you. Um, not being able to get up and start your day, laying around on the couch quite a bit, just feeling constantly fatigued and tired can actually be, if it's not a physical I issue or illness, it can actually be a powerlessness wound that was created uh, at some traumatic event or woundedness that took place in your life where you were proposed this lie by the enemy you can't change anything you come into agreement with that lie I can't change anything an agreement has been made you've given legal ground for the enemy to stand a stronghold is formed and through this now stronghold and belief um, we seek away from God towards the self uh, and make an idolatry of avoidance of pain and then our actions are all about continuing to protect ourselves from the pain that entered in. Um, one of the opposite virtues for sloth would be diligence. One of the opposite virtues is fortitude, being willing to face what needs to be faced and meditating on how Jesus was willingly submitted himself. This is a vulnerability issue. There's a great YouTube video by Bren Brown, B-R-E-N-E, -E, Bren Brown, I'll put a link within this video on vulnerability. Vulnerability is not weakness. It is, it is courageous and it is strength. And joy only comes through truly learning how to be vulnerable. In a powerlessness wound, there can be um, a great fear of being vulnerable. And so that would be a key place of beginning to find healing in this area.